And now we made it to that point of the journey. All right, so we're back to another video channel. This is the first time you welcome to gameplay number eight, AKA the ending for season one of the Telltale of the Walking Dead. So we did it, we made it to that point where this, this is the ending. This is the final episode. We went through all five episodes and now we made it to the final episode, episode five. No time left. And with that title, I'm actually really curious to see where the stories can go. Because if you weren't here for the previous video, which if you weren't here, no problem, I'll leave a card on the top right of the screen that'll lead you to it. Or if you'd like to, I'll leave another card on the top right of the screen that'll lead you to a playlist for the series so you can, you know, Move around to which episode you'd like to see. I had a great time making the videos and I hope you enjoyed the videos so much playing the game. But as I was saying, I'm actually really curious to see where the story can go because towards the end of the previous video, we just learned Clementine, the girl we've been looking after, she's been abducted. And that's not even the worst part. Lee just got bitten. And I'm actually really curious to see, is Lee gonna have enough time to save Clementine before the worst happens? I'm actually really curious to see where the stories can go from here. So with that, let's continue on the story. As always, if you haven't hit the like button yet, please go and do so that really helps out the video. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please go and do so that really helps the channel. I'm trying to reach my new goal of 750 subscribers before 2024 ends. I know it's a big goal, but we're less than 150 subscribers away. And I think it's possible that we can even surpass that. Now, let's go and continue on the story. And now look at that. Episode 5, no time left. And there goes Clementine. Let's go and begin episode 5. Let's do this. Previously. On The Walking Dead. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. Here, you can have some too. But we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. They always stay in the same place when they go there. The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? We gotta go! <laughs> Yeah. Why? Clementine? Clementine! So, oh, no. Clementine's gone. Wherever she is, I have to find her. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? There goes the railroad. There goes the train. Vernon, get out here. There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Clementine, are, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch. Cody. Where have you taken her? This isn't Vernon. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. What do you want from me? Whatever it is, I'll do it. You can let her go. I want you to never hurt anybody again. This isn't a kidnapping, Lee. Then what is it? Let's see. Then what is it? A rescue. What? How is this a rescue? Just how? Let's think. Just hold on, Clementine. I'm coming for you. Don't worry, pal. We'll get her back. I really hope so. How much time do I have left? How's that feeling? Let's see. Let's go with... It doesn't matter. It is what it is. We don't have much time. Oh no, they're coming, they're coming through the wall now. We're Someone has to shut the door. Us. We'll all make sure nothing gets in. You're still the smartest fucker out of all of us. Try to find another way out of here. Okay. Let's see. We gotta find something to barricade that door. That's number one. Shoot. That's not gonna hold it for long. Hmm. Is there anything? 
nothing through here. Dang. Kane? I was kind of hoping they dug some secret tunnels or something. They had to. Let's see. What's all this stuff? Surgical supplies? Surgical supplies. I can't work with that. Anything useful in here? Nada. Nothing at all. Hmm. Maybe in here? What's this? Let's see. It's like a car jack. I don't want to imagine this being used on a body. Yeah. It might come in handy. I don't know how yet. Hmm. Seems like nothing. Let's see if there's anything else. There's gotta be something that can help us escape. Let's see anything through here? What's this? Hmm. Hey, it's an elevator. I I found a way out. Let's see. Let's use this. This could be where it's gonna come in handy. I'll have these doors open in two seconds. So just be ready. It's really nice that they left this behind. Okay, good. Wait, what? Oh no! Are we passing out? Condition's getting worse. Episode 5, no time left. Is he alive? Shit. This is bad. Fuck! Help me move it. Okay. This has to be done. Sorry. What has to be done? I gotta do it. Wait! No, 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 no. Stop! He's awake! He's still bitten! So? This is about trying to save him. At the very least, buy him some time. Chopping his arm off. We know it works. We don't know anything. We know there's gonna be a lot of blood. There's gonna be a shitload of blood. But it really is. Then the rest of us go after Clementine and get the hell out of Savannah. Damn right. Let's do this. If there's a chance it stops you from turning, we have to take it. Hey, I'm laying right here. Sorry. It's not really our call anymore. Yeah, no shit. If we take off the arm, and you don't die of blood loss, well, maybe you won't die from the bite. I think either way it's inevitable. What do you think? Man, we... We know how this is gonna end. And no point in nerfing me. No. We leave it. Are you sure? Yeah, I feel like I got time. Just keep an eye on me. I get my hands on the bastard who's got Clem. I'm gonna be happy to have them both. But... You're gonna die. That's inevitable in this point. But not in here. You guys keep an eye on that door. I'll work on getting us out of here. Lee? No. This is what we're doing and I don't want to hear anything else, okay? It's gotta happen. Arm gone or, you know, we keep the arm. I feel like the same thing's gonna happen. Well, he's gonna turn. So we just gotta hurry with the time we got left. Let's try to focus on getting this open. There we go. All right, up we go. We're gonna have to go as quiet as possible and see if we can make it to an empty floor, or even the roof. Sounds good. Now we're climbing a ladder? Now I'm really glad I don't have to, you know, climb nice just one arm. quiet, everybody. There's some light up there. Good. Gotta get my ass off this ladder. Man, it would have been really difficult to climb this ladder. Ah! Ooh, that can be good. Focus on getting up. Just keep going, just keep going. <gasps> what happened? 
Oh! Shit! That was fucking close. Everything okay up there? Oh, just fucking peachy. Dang it. Oh no. Ooh! Lee! Lee! Oh god! Are you alive? Get up! Oh, I thought he fell off the ladder! That would have been a really bad fall. I'm alive. I think. You have to pull yourself up! <laughs> I wonder... Would this... Would this happen if I chose to get rid of the arm? Actually, now I'm starting to wonder. Is me getting rid of the arm the better choice? It's something I should have done. Shoot, man, we can't turn back the clock now. Let's just focus on what we got now. Look at all the zombies there, too. This hospital completely got run, basically. Look at all of them. Remember when Savannah was empty? Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. There must be thousands of them. They didn't follow us here, did they? It sure seems like it. That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. Is it? That fucking train wasn't exactly discreet. Well, what hmm. do we now? We need to get off this roof as fast as we can. It's not safe down there. We can't just walk through the streets. You planning on growing some wings? Look, let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? Good. I... Uh, don't think we can ignore what just happened to Lee. Like, what can we do? Just lost my footing, that's all. You gotta let us know if you start feeling funny, you know? I know. It's just dizziness, that's all. I'm all good. As good as you can be. Yeah. Good as I can be. Now what? We get down and we find a little girl out there. Right, pal? Exactly. Now, let's get our bearings. How are we gonna get down here? Man, I wish Molly was still around. Let's see. Let's go ahead and look around. There gotta be something. Or maybe we could talk to Omid. What's up over here? Bell Tower. That's what's up. Huh. Yeah. That could help. Hmm. Wait. Is Lee trying to jump to it? No way. It's higher than this roof for starters. I was about to say, I don't know what kind of... What Lee got planned. I guess for right now we can leave. Let's see. Where's Krista? Oh, Krista's right up here. Let's go ahead and talk to you. That's the church across the street from the mansion. River Street should be just beyond that. We need to head back that way. We'll stop off at the mansion, like you said. And make sure we didn't overlook anything. Yeah. I might have a way to clear us a path. Wait, there's a ladder. Make it to that bell tower. I can draw the walkers down to that side of the hospital. There'll be thousands of them. That'll thin out the streets between here, the mansion, and River Street. Even if it's just for a few minutes. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I just noticed there's a ladder there. Hold up, hold up. Can we use this? Oh, yes, we can. But at the same time, I want to talk to Kenny real quick. Is Kenny over on this side? Let's see, yes he is. Shoo. That looks like Crawford Square over there. Let's go and talk to you. Fuck that place. Did fix up our boat, though. We get Clementine and get right back. Make sure she wears her life jacket, okay? Something tells me she's not going to want to. Alright. Now, let's go and grab that ladder. Let's see. 
What was this? Paint. Some poor bastard took a spill. Yeah, looks like whoever was up here painting that sign went ass over tea kettle. Well, he does. But for right now, let's grab the ladder. Make our way over to the bell. Let's see. Let's go ahead and make our way over here. Hopefully he can reach. Let's see. Perfect. The bells. Yeah. Could buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You think you should be the one to go? My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? Yeah, that does make sense, no sadly. Let's go and do this. Hurry. Yeah, what she said. But man, I gotta say, I'm... I'm just really glad that the team, you know, reacted pretty well with Lee being bitten. Like, they could have totally just, you know, turned on us. Wait, 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 wait. Ah! Oh, that's bad. At least we took out Walker. Holy shit, man! Are you okay? Yeah. But we could jump this. I'm fine. Try to find another way out of there? With the running start. Let's see. First, let's do what we came here to do. Hopefully Molly doesn't get screwed over from this. Cool, so that'll get their attention. They're coming this way! Tons of them! Jesus! Now get back here! Okay. We can run this. And if we don't, it's gonna be bad news. I think I have to jump. There's no way back. You can make it. It ain't that far. Let's see. You got this. You got this, motherfucker. We need a running start, though. Sure, I would have done all the way to the edge. I'll need a 100% guarantee. There he goes. Nope. Nope, no, no, no. I got it. Good goddamn leap, pal. Let's get the hell off this roof. Finally got an opening. Now we're back here. Holy. No. The fuck. Come no. On. Just come the fuck on. Well, we're not coming back here after we find Clem. No. Fuck. How could this happen? This was Vernon. You think so? Definitely. Hey, guys. Lee's right. It was Vernon and that support group. No fucking way. The end. I just had a feeling. Their actions, uh, contradict your characterization, but yeah, the invalids. He's right. They're not invalids. They're just people. People who've been dealing with shitty situations even longer than we have. No wonder they got the jump on us. I don't give a fuck if their make-a-wish was a fucking boat ride! When I find them, I'm gonna rip their throats out! We'll never find them. We would have done the same. Says the guy who wouldn't take a box of food from an abandoned car. Things have changed. He says he feels bad about it, leaving us and Clementine behind. They fucked us! Dang it, man. Maybe I should have 
expected this to happen. Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. I don't want to go back out there again. Then don't. Go your own way. You're every man for himself until you and your boyfriend actually need something. You wouldn't have had a boat to lose without us. So shove it, okay? Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. We can do this in the yard. What do you think, Lee? What do we do now, without a boat? Well, I know you two are just gonna look out for number one. And number two. You know, yourselves. It's not like that, man. Bullshit, it's not. Don't engage him, Omid. There's other shit at play, all right? What, you got the boat hidden somewhere? Shut up, dude. Watch your mouth. Let's find another. That wasn't the last boat in America. The idea was sound before, and it's sound now. The mainland is done. And we have no idea what else is out there. I don't want to get us all killed on some impossible mission. It'll be better than getting eaten alone. Out there. At least Lee's thinking. You're goddamn right, we get another boat. But not here. Are we all missing the point right now? Clementine is the goal. That's it. Damn right. Oh no. Oh, shit! Here they come! In the house! They can't get over the fence, right? Shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure that did not last long. Let's see. Search the house for weapons. On it. Kenny. Kane? Let's see. Move anything you can up against the doors and windows. That's what I was thinking. Omid. Oh, oh no. What did you see? <gasps> the front door. Front doors! Oh no! No 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 no! Get off me! Get off! Get off me! Lee! Shoot! Cut their fucking arms off! There's got to be a knife or something in there. At least one. Hurry! Or we could try to shoot the ones reaching in. Let's see. There we go. Perfect. Take their goddamn arms off! Okay. One. Two. And three. Perfect. Come on! Wait, is yeah. the fourth? Fingers. I should do it. Now what? Let's see. This is a big sturdy house. It'll hold. Yeah, I think so too. Oh, oh. <laughs> it did not hold for long. Shit! Get upstairs! Go! Dang it! Wait, that's Bree! So sorry, Bree. Guys, help me with this! Let's see. Let's go and push this. Shoot. Come on. Here. Come on, closer, closer. Everyone get to the end of the hallway. This will slow him down. Get to the end of the hallway and take a fucking stand! Okay. Can't let ourselves get trapped. Let's get as many as we can. When we see an opening, we go for it. How many people we all have? Three. What the attic? Five. Four. You all know where to aim. Get ready. Let's see. Can we mention it? We're just gonna wait. First shot. See. Two. Shoot, did I use up all my bullets? No, we still got more. I'm out! Me too! Fuck! Where do we go? There's no goddamn opening! Up! Snat it! See? I mentioned it. Go! Kane? No. Leave that behind? 
There's at least a few more shots than that. That could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay. Let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. But well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Nixon Kent III. Industrial... Mead? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. There's nothing wrong with, you know, lighten the mood. I'm sorry. But I understand why she reacted that way. So, no Let's ideas. go with this. There's gotta be another way. Check the floor for any other access, a vent, anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. Whoa, Lee, you okay? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, not this again. Uh, have to just... Not again. Clementine? So she's still at you the hear that? Yeah. At the spot. Did. What did that mean? She's at the hotel. Where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her. Yet. Yeah. Yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Shoot, the worst thing that we could do right now is just panic, so let's go with this. Stop it! We can't panic! How long you think we have? What? I... I don't know. We should have cut it off. At least then there would have been a chance. Well, you didn't. And it's too late now. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey. Look, we could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. You gonna bring up Larry? He's fine to me. I think it'd be best if we just worried about getting to Clem right now. We're not gonna do her any good if you've attacked us. That isn't gonna happen. How do you know that? Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. I can't bring up Duck. Let's go ahead and go with this. My arm is not the issue. I'm not the problem. The 500 walkers in the house and no door in this room are the goddamn problem. Yeah, maybe at the moment, but who's to say when it becomes an issue? At that point, there may not be any time left to deal with it. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me. We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were still- Kenny? You're not touching me. Do you understand that? You know exactly what to do if I turn and that's enough. Do you hear me? You might become one of them! You understand that? How can you be fucking calm about that? The worst thing- No. I'm not gonna attack him. Kenny? Ah! Wait. Did you just find an opening? You ruined that dude's face. That's true. Oh, sweetie. Look. That's an opening. It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30 foot drop. One way to find out. No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. Oh, I'll see. Where, where does this lead to? This wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? Give another swing. Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. Shoo, let's go with... Let's go with this. I wasn't gonna hurt you. Sure, pal. I know. Yeah, attacking Kenny would have been, you know, the best decision at the time. How'd I found that opening, though? 
I'm glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well... We probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us. Which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. Shoot, who's to say I'm not? I am. And when it happened? I panicked. But now I feel it inside me. Like the day before you get the flu. Horrible. Wish you would have taken it off? Don't think it matters much now. I'm losing a lot of feeling. Now. Really? Yeah. It's hot, like when you break a bone. But tingling, like it's asleep. <sighs> so when we get this guy, what do you think? Shoot, we just got folks on getting Clementine back. We just get Clementine, that's the focus. Despite how I feel, I, I, I can't let vengeance be the thing. Sure, but if it's not that easy... We'll do whatever it takes. And... You know, whatever happens to you, uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I'm bitten, Krista. We all know that's a wrap. There's gotta be something. Shoot, there's nothing that we can do. Wait, I can choose? Let's go with... I want Kenny to look after her. Stop it. Do you hear me? Are you sure, man? You didn't see I am. What he do to protect them? We're not doing this right now. Krista, listen to him. It's what I want, okay? All right, I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure, if you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, and you can hop in after me. Sure All right, so we got to tell Kenny. It's good we're forced to take a breath. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. I'm just really glad that I didn't attack him. Well, as much as anyone. Lee's family's gone too. It'll be all right, Ken. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. Is that a bottle? Why is there always Scott, a convenient tell you bottle room? What we've been through? Bits and pieces. The aforementioned Larry fella. See, Lee and I got trapped in a fucking meat locker with him. He had a heart attack, so there's this guy who, I should say, was built like a brick shithouse. And we're terrified he's gonna come back and eat all of us. What did you do? We were resourceful. Larry didn't make it out. No, he no, did not. not. We did, though. Man, he... Let's go with this. I'm sorry for hurting you. It's impossible to go through life without causing some sort of pain. But sometimes I can't help but wonder if I could have caused a little less. You and me both, Doc. Well, cheers. Shoot, I might as well. Might as well. No telling how much time I have left. I feel like there's something Krista's not telling us. Well, dang. I'm through. All right, cool. No walkers. Things are looking up. Nice, now we're finally free. Everyone keep a goddamn eye out. Man, I'm really glad that I didn't attack Kenny because what if he never found out about this opening? This seems pretty sealed off. What is room? Well. Oh no. The 
family that owned a house. No. That is terrible. Let's keep moving. I've got to go. Yeah. We've seen so many people. I don't know why these ones break my heart. What's heartbreaking is not giving yourself a chance. It's what Katya did. Man, I'm sorry, Kenny. Jesus. I'm sorry, kid. She left me. A son. People that cared about us. I forgive her, but it don't make it any less wrong. You don't just... End it, because it's hard. You stick it out, and you help the folks you care about. So let's figure a way out of here and get that little girl. We should move. Yeah. Got at least one shot left. Please do. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. Okay. Let's see. Lee, you okay? Yeah. Let's keep at it. Okay. There's gotta be something that we could use. Hmm. Anything, Omid? It's sick, but think of all the pain they avoided. I don't understand what you mean. Medallion? What do you call this thing? Art? Solid answer. Alright. Let's see anything else? Let's see, you got a painting. Not useful right now. That is a TV. Shoot. Wait, a window? Let's talk to Kenny real quick. Don't ask me how I'm doing. Let's just keep going. Alright. Wait, let's talk to Krista then. I guess Crawford would have gotten them anyway. Yeah, Sally. Okay, now let's leave. Especially the fact that they have a kid too? I'm not going out this window. Ooh, okay, I guess that's not gonna work. Let's see, then what about the door then? Possibly? There's another rooftop. Maybe we can make the jump? Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Krista. And lastly, Kenny. Perfect. Let's keep going. Be careful up here. They haven't learned to climb yet, right? Hopefully not. It's good to be moving. Oh, shoot. Lee's condition is worsening. Let's go with... We can't stop. Damn right we can't. We're not too far. How we finding this guy? We just get to the hotel and stick together. And use our heads. You got that walkie-talkie? Yeah, of course I do. You might want to give him a call and tell him we're coming for him. Yeah, right. Careful cross here. Man. You can tell Lee's condition is getting worse. And we don't have much time left. Also, when are we going to break the news to Kenny that we want him to take care of Clementine? Actually, that brings me to a question. Who would you choose between the two? Kristen O'Mead or Kenny? And let me know that in the comment section and the reason why. Now, I chose Kenny because 
I believe he's along. River Street's just up ahead. Nope. A maw of darkness full of walkers? Fuck that shit. Let's see. Let's go ahead and go with. Hmm. Let's go with this. Get off of here now. Yep. That. Let's keep going, you bunch of lollygaggers. Uh. Oh. Now we gotta go. Oh, fuck. <sighs> well. I'm so sorry. It's alright. Just gotta get it back. We have to get it back. That's our lifeline to her. But we can find this guy without it. What if we don't? We need every clue that comes out of it. Lee is right. I am so fucking sorry. It's fine. We just need to figure out who's going down there. No, we don't. Oh? Just Christ. like that? Jesus fucking Christ! I got it. Get me up. Okay, perfect. Fuck. We can't reach. Find something. Fast. Let's see. Be good. Keep a fucking eye on her. Um, there's gotta be a ladder or something. Let's see. Let's go the pole. That could work. It's not a lot, but it's better than nothing. Onto this. We'll pull you up. Good. Thanks. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <gasps> ah! oh, no. No. No, 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 no. Please don't let there be walkers in there. Please don't let there be walkers. Oh, no. Shit, Don't move me around right around her. No, no, no. Fuck! Jump up here, baby! Let's go! Jump! <sighs> Man, come on. Mouth. Kenny, what are you doing? Kenny? <clears throat> what are you doing? Uh, get her, Ken! Can't you sit all that shit and not do something now? Come on, reach! No! I uh, got you, hun! Save her! Go, go, go! Can you fucking hear me? Wait, can you... What are you gonna do? Come on, we might be able to save him. Uh, get Kenny! Let's see. There might be something... Oh, no! Where are you? Where'd he go? He didn't even shoot! Get the fuck off me! No! No, 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 no! Go! Go! I'll be! Go! No! Where? Where'd he go? There's no way! Maybe he... Maybe, found an opening? Maybe he ran. Maybe, maybe the man's alright. Maybe he'll find us. What if he doesn't? He went down there for you. I know he did. He... Hopefully he... He escaped. It's not her fault. Jesus wanted help. He shouldn't be mad at her. I just hope that Kenny escaped. And then we regroup with him soon. Are you okay? Do you want to talk? Man. Let's go with this. Kenny was my friend. Soon as someone dies, they don't immediately have to have their sins forgiven. Well, it gets an hour more tour, at least. I understand. This is a shitty time, but I want to make sure we're clear before we go forward. What is it? Clementine. I know Kenny was your guy. Yeah? When it comes to Clementine. Maybe we... Well... We should reconsider. 
Let's go ahead and go with let's go with this. You guys would be great for her. Keep her safe. We do our best. You know that. I really appreciate it. Good. Thanks. Whatever your best is, I'll trust it. That's all you can do. We have to cross here. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. Or maybe he spoke too soon. Going first. You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg, and you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hot. Decision doesn't make itself. Wait, what? Wait, is Krista... Krista's pregnant? I'll go first, in case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah. Wait, wasn't this something I missed? That would explain a lot. She's pregnant. And that's where Clementine's being held. Let's see. Just go nice and slow. Let's keep going, keep going. We don't have far to go. Focus on getting to the other side. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. Please don't break. Please don't break. Ah. No, no, no. Shit! Uh. Oh, fuck! Uh. Come on. Uh. Shit. Are you okay? Fine. I'm kind of fucked here. What are you gonna do? Let's see. Let's go with... I'll figure something out! There's not a ton of options! Shoot. What does he mean by I'm going for it? Fuck it. I'm going for it! Going for it? Is he going to drop down? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? He's really going to do it. Shoot. Find me when you get down! What the fuck does that mean? It means what it sounds like. Hotels around the corner. Find Clementine and me as soon as you can. You're crazy! There's no other way. I guess that's what we gotta do. We really don't have time. Time is not on our side right now. Think how much time has passed? Sun went down quick. I guess that's our weapon. It's our only choice. What we gotta do for Clem. We'll start suck a few. Okay. Got you. Got you. Let's see. You. Oh, let's keep going. Let's see. You I take out as many as we can. It'll be easier for Chris and Omid. Gotcha. Ooh. Straight through. Oh no. Wait, could that be the same car? End of episode three. So now we're finally here. Now, which room do we go to?
Let's see. We have the walkie. Why don't we ask? I feel like something's about to pop out. Or maybe this is it. Room 39? No sound. But screw it. Let's go through. the room? Hold up, why is the door tied off like that? This piece of rope, wait, what? Oh! Oh, they got us adjoining rooms. shoot. Wait, were you the one that was at the house? Where is she? I already told you, she's fine. You are. You look horrible. Oh, it's been rough. It's been really rough. Put your things down. Let me out! Clem! Out there. Let's go with... Shh! Not even gonna let me speak. Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things there. Shoo, let's see. Let's go with Ooh. Let's go with this. This is all I've got, okay? You travel light. I don't believe you. It's been rough. That's everything. Go ahead and search me. No, I'm not touching you. Just sit down. You still got the butcher knife. Do you know who I am? Not exactly, no. No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me? Huh. A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest, full of that all was yours. food, water, things you need to survive. Yeah, I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. Just a survivor. I didn't take from you. Your people didn't? I didn't agree with it. That's what Clementine said. Why didn't you? Shoot, because the battery was still on. You were coming back. The dome light was on. We did come back. I said we did come back. What do you want me to say? I don't want you to say anything. I want you to know what happened. Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Never on purpose. Not on purpose. If it were on purpose, you'd be a sociopath. I hurt her so bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. And then we came back, and all our stuff was gone. Your people, Lee. That asshole in the ball cap. His stupid fucking wife. I could have earned her trust back if they hadn't made our situation so desperate. Man, I 
I'm sorry. But we were desperate too. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? Should we all do? We're just trying to survive. We all do. Some more than others. I'm not like you. You walked a little girl into a dairy full of sick people and let them get their hands on her. That's not the whole story. We... It was complicated back then. I was trying to find some place safe for her. You lied to her about who you really are. Shoo. You weren't there or had my reasons? It wasn't the right time to tell her. You brought her to the most dangerous place in this city where she could have died. But that's not the whole story. Or I couldn't leave her alone. I couldn't leave her at the house alone. She would have been better off! But she saved somebody's life. If it wasn't for her, Molly would have been a walker. How could you know all this? It's because he had his own walkie-talkie. You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. Shoot, let's go with... Let's go with this. Just give me Clementine back. I'd rather kill her myself. Because that's what will happen if she goes with you. After I found Clementine on my radio, I wasn't even mad at you. I was coming for the others. For revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did, and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lead, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. We? I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But her birthday was six days ago. That's not fair. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. I can't believe you missed her birthday. That's not happening. You're crazy. Keeping her with you is crazy. Shoo, let's go with... Let's go with this. I'm bitten. What? I got bit, and I'm gonna make sure you end up the same way as me. I, uh... Make sure you shoot me in the head. No. I'll be with her, and you'll be rotting in the streets. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. What? Do you... I'm glad to. Who's in there? Clem! I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon. It's shoot. Just about. I hate seeing you like Let's this. Let's go with this one. I just miss your smile, honey. Man, it makes sense. He was talking like, you know, not about himself. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. You got a she's head in Lizzie, a bag. She's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. There we go. Let's go with this. Oh, no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We're still good, we're still good. There we go. Now. Perfect. To be honest, I thought there was somebody in the closet. Let's see. We got you, we got you. Come on. Got him, we got him. Just go down. No! Son of a bitch! 
bitch! Just Let's see. go away! Die! Should be enough. Clementine! You did it! Sure, I thank you for the save. Thank you for that. Man, it sucks you had to do it. I... I... It's okay. Did what you had to do. You look horrible. No it's been rough. Let's just get somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah, I know. Let's see. Let's go with. Let's get out of here, okay? Yes, please. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. Hopefully there's more ammo. Hopefully on his person? Hey. You weren't afraid. I was. You didn't act like it. I know. I am now. It's okay. Let's see. Is there more ammo? Now I'm wondering. Is Clementine going with him? Not that bad of an idea? I know it's too late now, but... Maybe it's something I should have considered? But then again, we got Krista no mead, but... Shoot. Let's see. I don't even want to look at what's in the bag. But we gotta find ammo. Hopefully there's something. You been here? Which way out? Through there. I guess now let's go and leave. Let's see. Through here. <gasps> Ooh, that's not good. Okay, we gotta take him out. Wait, that's what it is? A bunch of them to get here. I thought Lee was too that's far gone. Get out of Savannah. But I guess that does make sense. Oh no. But if it works, then that's what we gotta do. I'm so sorry, Clem. But man, time is rough right now. Let's see, we gotta do a bit more? We'll get you cleaned up as soon as we can. Not soon enough. Hopefully he can soon. Are you done? A little more. I want to be sure. Let's see. Just a little more. It's so gross. I know, I know. It's got to be done. There. That should do it. I hope so. And you're missing something. I thought your hat. It's gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Now you're complete. Stay right next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Mm -hmm. I'll keep you safe. I guess we don't need a walkie-talkie anymore. Just 
look at all of them. You know what? I'm surprised. We never ran into Clementine's parents. I thought, you know, with us going to the same motel that they were staying at, that could be the case. But for right now, let's just focus on escaping. Going, just keep going. Don't panic. Let's see, I guess it's working. Camouflage. No. No. That's your. That's your parents. I'm so sorry. Clem, don't. Oh no, not again. Re, wake up. Please don't be dead. Please, no. Re, I, I was so scared. I thought you left me. I, I, I saw Time my is really parents. on our side now. I know. They didn't get to you, right? No. We got away. They're dead for sure. I'm sorry you had to see that. Clementine, we have to get out of here as fast as we can. No, we can't. There's thousands of them outside. We have to. I'll protect you. We'll push no, through. No, no, that's crazy. I saved you. We're safe here. I locked us in. Get that what? door open. I can't. Do it. It was only a little open when I found it. I closed it to keep us safe. Pull on three. One. Two. Three. Come on. There's the last thing I can do. It's to get you free. <coughs> I really don't have time. See? Lemon time, honey. What? What happened? No. No, no, that's... That's not... No! No, no, no! Yes, Clem, it is. There's no time. It's gonna be okay. It's like Larry, isn't it? It's gonna be okay. You are gonna be okay. We just have to think and work together. Okay. That's what you're gonna take. Good, good girl. Let's go. I uh, might be a little slow. I'll help you. I guess the security guard's still on duty after all this time. Chill now, not chair. I got Shoot. you. You can lean on me if you have to. I'm okay. I'm okay. Thought I was helping by bringing you in here. Try to help, and that's all that matters. Let's see. You couldn't have known. I should have told you. It was scary at the hotel. Yeah. Keep going. We're almost there. Might have been better if I told her sooner. I just didn't think about telling her at the time. <clears throat> now I'm paying for it. <laughs> Get up, Lee. The door is right here! But what about the walker inside? We gotta at least take that one out just to <clears throat> make sure I you're gonna make it. You have to! Damn, I can't move. This is it for me here. Please, 
please try to get up. Come on. One more try. Gotta do it. I can't. You don't have much time. You gotta do something. Fast. Like what? I honestly don't know. I don't turn. You have to keep away from me. But Lee! Whatever you have to do to keep me away from you, you have to. Okay. We'll figure it all out. Don't worry. Let's see. We gotta get you in there. Just start by getting that door open. It's locked. It's uh. no big deal. It's just a glass window. Uh. Ow! Not with your hand. Let's see. Maybe there's something... Baseball bat. Baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. Perfect. And now... Use the bat to shatter that window so you can reach in, okay? Okay. Watch out for broken glass. Good job. Now for the walker. Don't put that away yet. Don't be afraid of him, honey. You're smart. He isn't. You're smarter than all of them. He can't move out of the chair? We'll get you in there. Don't worry. We're doing good. Let's see. What can we do? And don't be scared of the walker. You'll be fine. Let's see. You gonna go inside there? Hmm. Is there anything else? What else can we do? The way out through there, Clem. I know. Shoot, then pick up the bat again. Chair, Clem. Use it to reach in to the lock. Okay. Now I can go in. Open it. This will be easy then. He's got keys. Probably to that door. And everything you'll need. Okay. But first. Put a handcuff on the ground. Get them. Okay, me. I should use this. Just for insurance. This doesn't go wrong. But we got an option? Handcuff him or us. Let's go and handcuff Lee. Put the handcuffs on me. Attach me to this. What? Why? No matter what happens, we're safe then. Uh, I don't know. Just do it, sweetie. Make sure they're tight. I don't... I don't want to do this! You have to. It'll keep you safe. You only have to deal with him now. Just now you're safe. If you're careful, you can get what you need from him. The keys, and then the gun. Yeah, the keys and the gun. Just don't be afraid. If anything gets dangerous, you're faster than he is. What should I get first? Shoot. Go for both. Get the gun. Put that one. Always the gun. Oh, how he's trapped. Oh. <laughs> That's not trapped. 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 Get him. Let's see. Can we kick this towards you? Watch out! Come on! Oh! 
Chắc sẽ kinh Sì Who's the bat? There you go Come on One more should do it Okay, maybe two Maybe three Maybe four Actually, that's enough I did it I got him Good job, Clem I guess for right now Let's go with
What Remains. Complete Season 1, Episode 5. We did it. Wow, that... That was a very sad ending. I'm not gonna lie to you. I was holding back tears on that one. That, that was a great way to end Lee's story. And I'm just glad that, you know, Clementine just made it out. I hope she finds Kristen Omid soon. And now it's time to see how did my decisions compare to everyone else's. Let's start off with Desperation. Remove Lee's arm. You and 32% of players didn't remove your arm. Well, here's the thing. When I made the decision on this one, I We did it since it's already inevitable. We already get bitten and it's more than likely spread already. Why go ahead and do that and make, you know, things harder than it already is? We already dealing with the fact that we're bitten. Let's see Fallout. Lost temper. You and 54% of players calmly argued with Kenny. I'm glad that I didn't attack Kenny because it would have made things worse than what it is now. I know we're, you know, Kenny's scared. We had to go through a similar scenario with Larry, so all of it's, you know, his fear was valid. But attacking him at that moment, it wouldn't help nothing. Let's see, disarmed. Gave up weapons. You and 70% of players kept your weapon. And I'm glad it worked. I'm surprised he didn't search us. Our next one, stranger. Killed Clementine's captor. You and 10% of players didn't kill the stranger. Wait, it wasn't scripted? Wait, 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 wait. That could have played out differently? I thought I was, you know, mashing the buttons correctly. Oh, shoot. So, that could have played out totally different. Okay, that's interesting. And now lastly, goodbye. Stop Lee from turning. You and 5% of players told Clementine to leave. Like, 5%? Wow, so 95% of people chose Clementine to shoot Lee. Wow, I, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to stick to my answer because I think it's way more safe for Clementine not have to do it. You know, not only because of its sound, and also I think it's something that Clementine shouldn't have to go through. And now that's it. That's the final one. Man, what a journey it's been just to go through the season, and it's been a beautiful story. And I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for sticking me all the way to the ring, and I really do appreciate it. And wow, thank you, thank you, thank you for sticking me all the way to the ring, and I really do appreciate it. And if this is your first video on the channel, thank you for coming by and supporting the video on the channel. I really do appreciate it. And if you've been with me since the beginning or maybe jumped in towards the middle, thank you, thank you, thank you for supporting the video as much as you have. I really do appreciate it. I really do appreciate all of the been joining the videos. I had a great time making this series, and I'm glad to see that you enjoyed the videos. Just my joy playing the game. Now it's time to see what's next. Ooh, what's this? So basically, this is like a whole timeline of everything. Let's see, let's start with Kenny. He defended his son in the drugstore, okay? You talked him down from ignoring his son's fate. You killed his son so he didn't have to. Sadly, that was the case. He was lost to the herd, trying to save Krista. I wonder if I could change that. Like, maybe if I chose not to go for the walkie-talkie, would he still be alive? I really wonder if we could have changed that. Now for Katja, you found water for Duck when he needed it. I'm glad I did that. She shot herself when faced with her son's death. That's... That's something I did not see coming at all. I still remember that. Man, I wish things played out differently. Now for Larry. He restrained Lily while Kenny crushed his head. We did what we had to do. Kenny's fear at that point was very valid and I think we made the right decision. Larry died in the meat locker at the dairy. I wonder if things could have played out differently. I really wonder. Maybe, maybe I should have took Lily's side on that one. And now, let's go and move on to Lily. You called her a, ooh, ooh yeah, shoot. Yeah, that's not, that's not something we should say when we first meet somebody. Let's see, you backed her up when supplies went missing. And lastly, Lily stole the RV and was never seen again. I wonder if we're ever gonna see Lily again down the road. I think that could be a possibility. If so, I wonder how that's gonna play out. And lastly for Omid, you helped him get onto the train. Of course, he was the one injured, not Krista. And lastly, you were separated after you crossed the sign. I hope they get reunited with Clementine really soon. And now, that's the end of the chart. Let's go continue on. Some more? There is more. There's only one for Ben? You dropped Ben from the bell tower. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest, out of all the decisions I've made so far, if there was one decision I could, you know, rewind the clock on, it would be dropping Ben. I wish I could, you know, reverse the decision and, you know, escape with them out of there. That's the only one so far that I wish I could, you know, rewind the clock on. Ooh, Carly. You trusted her with your past, 
You saved her life at the cost of another. Sally had to do it. She was killed by Lily. I wish things played out differently. I, I really do. You defended her against Lily's accusations. Because it was true. It all turned out to be true at the end. And now, let's see, Krista. You met her on your worst day thus far. True? You revealed your bite to her. I did. After getting separated, you told them to find you. Hopefully they find Clementine soon. Now Doug. Wow, it feels like forever since I've seen Doug. Told him he was a strange guy. You weren't wrong. Okay, you are with him when you found your brother. He died when the walkers attacked the drugstore. Yeah, I did choose Carly over him. I wonder how things would have played out if I chose to keep Doug. And lastly, Doug. You argued that he was not bent back in Macon because it was true. Let be your sidekick solve a mystery. He was very helpful. And lastly, man, it makes me sad to see this, but you shot him before he could turn. Man, I am I hate to say it, but it was better for him. And now that's it for this chart. that? Is that Kristen Olmeade? I really hope it is. Oh shoot, that's that's how it's gonna end? I thought we were gonna learn that at the end of the two silhouettes. I really hope that it's Kristen Olmeade and man, I hope they get reunited with Clementine soon. But I guess we're gonna figure that out and season two but man i just want to say real quick thank you for sticking me all the way to the very end and supporting the video i really do appreciate it and i hope you enjoyed the video so enjoy playing the game and let me know down in the comment section what your thoughts and ending is also in regards to the stats would you have made similar decisions i did or would you have chosen something different let me know down in the comment section and also i'm excited to begin in the next video let me go ahead and pull it up we got one more episode right after episode five no time left we have the special episode 400 days, but that's for a whole nother video. But for right now, I wanted to say thank you so much for taking me all these very end again. And thank you, thank you, thank you for supporting the video. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Thank you for coming by.